Hey guys! So today's video is going to be my empties slash product reviews. So basically it's just the products that I have used up and I will tell you what I thought about them. It's been so long and I apologize for that. Um, usually I would do these videos monthly but it's just been so crazy lately with um, behind the scenes stuff. I'm working on a lot of um, collaborations so um, there's just been a lot of stuff going on. So this is going to be an empties video based off of the past two months. So let me just get into it. So the first product I have to show you guys is the shampoo, which I have been absolutely obsessed with. It is by the brand um, Too Chic. It's their Tangerine and Papaya butter shampoo. It's in the orange bottle, that's how you know. And it's just absolutely amazing. They come with this uh, $2 coupon, so when you buy it, you can either rip it off and use it then, or you can save it and um, use it when you repurchase it, which is what I'll be doing. Um, it is for fine limp hair, that's what it says, but it's an ultra volume shampoo, which is what I look for in shampoos because I have very, very, very oily hair. My hair might not, might not be that fine, but my hair is extremely oily, which is very common in fine hair. So I always look for a volume shampoo, uh, just a little tip. It energizes and boosts volume, which I 100% agree with, it really does. It liberates locks from heavy product residue, increases lift at the hair root, which I will tell you right now, it's one of my favorite things about it, because it's my roots that get extremely oily, the, the rest of my hair is actually extremely dry. So it's just the roots that I have like a real problem with, and this shampoo just works absolute wonders on that. Um, it weightlessly amps up shine. My hair is definitely shiny. I always get compliments about how shiny my hair is. And that is because of your shampoo, but it's also because of what you're eating and your diet. Um, and it is sulfate free, which I will not buy any shampoo that is not natural or sulfate free or paraben free, any of that stuff. I will never put that stuff in my hair. So yeah, and it smells amazing. It's like a perfect summer shampoo. So if you are in the market for a good natural shampoo that is cruelty free and vegan on top of that, um, definitely go in with the Too Chic uh, Tangerine and Papaya Butter. And I'm pretty sure you can get it at Target or Whole Foods or really any drugstore. So it's definitely, definitely gonna be repurchased and already has been. The second thing I have to show you is by the same brand. It is the Too Chic uh, Blackberry and Coconut Milk Conditioner. This was a pretty good conditioner. Um, when I condition my hair, I only condition like from he the half of my head. So like from here and down. I will never condition my roots because like I said, I have very oily hair. And if you do, you do not want to condition your roots. So um, this claims that it is a repairing conditioner for damaged, overprocessed hair, which is definitely mine. It, this claims to repair and renew youthful vibrancy, delivers moisture and elasticity, coconut reinforces hair fiber, um, love the scent of this uh, conditioner so much, gently wraps each strand to protect from damage, and eliminates frizz, color safe. Definitely would say that it eliminates frizz, which it would which was huge um, I did repurchase it so I am still using it I would say that this is a great uh, cruelty free and vegan conditioner and it is natural it's free of sulfates and parabens also so it's another good one the next thing I have to show you guys um, I actually have two of them because I go through this like literal water um, you guys have seen me talk about this in a past empties video um, it is the Yes2 Carrot Daily Cream Facial Cleanser. And you want to make sure that if you are buying um, vegan, you have to go with the, fra the fragrance free one. The fragrance one does contain animal product, so just make sure that you do get the fragrance free one. And um, it's actually probably honestly better that you get fragrance free skincare. I always tell everyone that because a lot of the time, um, 
skincare with fragrances in them can irritate the skin. Um, so I'd be really careful about getting fragranced um, skincare, definitely. So all of my skincare is fragrance free, always is, probably always will be. Um, I just like to be as natural as I possibly can with skincare. I think skincare is the most important thing and makeup comes second um, because if you don't take care of the skin underneath your makeup, your makeup will never look good. So just a little another tip. Um, so this has aloe vera and carrot seed oil to moisturize, nourish, and rejuvenate dry skin. Talk about a triple threat. That's what it says. I swear to God, this is a triple threat. I have been ride or die for this cleanser for the past, like, year. And I, I will never... I, I, I mean, I, I can't say never. Never say never. But I can't see myself ever switching from this. It's just so good. And I got several several people that I'm close to hooked on this so yeah um, I I would never ever recommend a cleanser more than the s2 carrots fragrance free facial cleanser okay, my next empties I actually have the box for this in case you guys wanted to see it it's the Becca um, backlight priming filter and what you do is you put this on either you can use um, what I like to do is I use, I like to use a hydrating primer because I have very dry skin, especially in the summer. It's been um, on another level lately. But anyway, so I use um, the one, actually I have, I'll do a two-in-one here. Um, the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer I went through also. It is my favorite primer out there, like ever. It's just incredible. Um, so rejuvenating it's unreal so yeah this is just amazing it is cruelty free and vegan so what I would do is I would put this on first and then I would go in with the Becca backlight priming filter which gives your skin an incredible glow incredible you could even like if like say you're going to the beach and you don't want to wear makeup or a lot of makeup having this on transforms your face like literally transforms it it is just so l luminous like your skin just gives off this unreal glow and, and the box kind of gives off exactly what it makes your face look like it's so funny um, packaging is awesome and it really does make your face this shiny like it's it's crazy it's just like the best thing ever I'm gonna like swatch a little on my hand because I think there is like a little bit left in here and we'll just see if it shows up on camera, like what I'm talking about. Let me see. I'll just rub this in. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. But can you see how it kind of gives my hand just like this unreal glow? I don't know if you can see it really well on camera, but I swear, like... It just really gives your face that glow and it's it's become one of my favorite products but funny story is they just came out with a new version and it's actually a purple um, bottle and purple product inside and at first I was very sketched out because it was purple and I was like I don't want anything purple on my face like at all but no as soon as you rub it in the purple is gone and it makes your face extra shiny but I can't tell yet because I did just purchase it I can't tell yet if I like it more than this one or not so I'm gonna hold off on repurchasing this one and just use up the purple one the one that I have uh, now and I will let you know um, in the future which one I liked better out of the priming filters. My next product is the La Vanilla uh, Healthy Deodorant in Vanilla Breeze, the Sport Lex one. And you've also seen this in a past video. It is the only deodorant that I use. I've tried many cruelty-free and vegan deodorants and none of them work except for this one that I've tried so far and I've tried a lot. So if any of you have a good recommendation for a cruelty-free or vegan deodorant, please let me know because I'm always, always on the hunt for that. Um, but this you can find on Sephora.com. They no longer sell it in their stores. I think if they do, it's only the mini travel size ones. It is white deodorant and it does not rub off on clothing, which is awesome. And yeah, it's 100% natural, so love it. The smell's amazing. It smells like coconut. 
just love it. It's a great deodorant if you're in the market for natural deodorant that works. The next product I have to show is the EO uh, Soothing Shower Gel. Now this took me like like eight months to finish. Like I have had this huge bottle for so long and I use it every time I go in the shower, every single time. And it is natural, it's cruelty free, and it's vegan and it's just a great uh, shower gel. It is very, very natural smelling. There's no synthetic fragrances, no artificial colors, no parabens, no um, sulfates, made in our certified organic facility, plant-based ingredients, pure essential oils, and 100% PCR bottle. So at least no BPA. So yeah, at least you know it's BPA free and natural. Um, it does smell like strong essential oils though so if you don't like essential oils don't buy it but why wouldn't you like essential oils <laughs> the next empties I have is the Derma E hydrating night cream which you've seen a thousand times on my channel already and I have two empty ones I usually go through one every month um, and yes they are just incredible got everyone hooked on these as well that I know um, vegan cruelty free natural all of their products are Love Derma E. You can get them at Target. Um, you can get them at Whole Foods, Wegmans. You can get them like so many places. Just look up online um, for a store near you. And yeah, it's just perfect for dry skin. I mean, they're for all skin types, which is awesome. But um, this is just perfect for my skin type. Um, and I, I usually go for their blue collection because that is specifically for dry skin, but um, anyone can use this and be totally fine. Someone oily could use this, be totally fine, but it does just give my skin a little bit more hydration, and that's what I love. I I, um, I love their day cream also. They are a little bit on the pricey side, but they're completely worth it, completely worth it. These also come with um, a $2 off coupon that you can use on when you uh, rebuy it. They did just do a complete and total package change on all of their products so now it looks so much more high-end and kind of looks more like the price that they are now which is awesome um, I don't have one with me right now but packaging is just so much better now <laughs> definitely recommend this for a perfect night cream next product I went through is the physicians formula butter bronzer and as you can see, I completely hit pan on this. I absolutely love this bronzer. I'm wearing it on my face today, and I wear it on my face pretty much every day, and I just absolutely love it. It's very natural looking. Um, it's not too orange for my skin tone. Some bronzers are way too warm for my skin tone, but this is absolutely perfect for the summer. And it smells like a tropical vacation. Oh, it just smells so good, guys. And I've already repurchased, and will continue to repurchase most likely. Next product I went through was the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Choker. So it was that shade. I don't know if you can, I don't know if it's gonna zoom. But yeah, it's kind of like a nudish color uh, with a little bit of brown in it. It is a creme formula, so it's um, not matte, which I love in the summertime. I don't really love mattes in the summertime. I mean, mattes are my favorite formula, I guess. But ever since I found out about the like ultra satin lips, I've been wearing those because they're just so much more comfortable and wearable in the summer and so are their lippy sticks so I'm probably I'm definitely going to have to make a huge purchase on colourpop.com pretty soon because I'm running out of my favorite products and I'll probably pick up a lot of their new stuff and do reviews on those and let you guys know colourpop is a cruelty free company and they have a ton of vegan options and the great thing about them is that they list everything that is that isn't vegan on their facts page. So just look at the facts page and it'll tell you what products are not vegan. Um, sadly, my favorite lipstick by them is not vegan. It's called Tool, and I really want them to make it vegan. Colourpop, make it vegan. 
Next product I went through is my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade um, Vanilla. And I went through, I went through three of these. Three of them. Um, they don't last the longest. I think I went through these in like two and a half months, these three. And I'm already working on another one. But unfortunately, I have to make this announcement. This is my favorite concealer of all time, guys. And if you've been watching my channel from the beginning, you know that. It's my ride or die concealer. And um, Cruelty Free Community just found out that NARS is no longer cruelty free. Um, and it's really, really sad. But I will no longer be repurchasing anything from NARS, including this concealer. And you can clearly see that I was ride or die for it. Um, it's a shame that they would go against their customers like that, but that is business, guys. And um, you just have to be that much more thankful for those companies that do stick to being cruelty free. So I am going to be moving on to the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which I have not tried yet. I've heard a million, million things about it, all good things. So I'm hoping that I will fall in love with that one, like I fell in love with this. The NARS train has ended, and I will not be repurchasing anything from them ever again. Next product I went through was, I went through two of these, the Dr. Bronner's Peppermint All-in-One Toothpaste. This is my favorite cruelty-free and vegan toothpaste. I love it so much, and you can get it pretty much anywhere. I'm pretty sure Target does sell this, and I, um, I know Whole Foods sells it. But yeah, just again, look up online, see where you can buy it. Um, it is peppermint flavor, so it's not going to really taste any different than the traditional toothpaste. I know that some people have an issue switching like to the Tom's one and stuff, but Tom's does not work for me at all. Um, it's too watery. It, it really doesn't do its job. And I found out that the Dr. Bronner's one is the best cruelty-free and vegan toothpaste out there, in my opinion. So, just saying, if you're looking for a new toothpaste, a natural toothpaste, go with Dr. Bronner's. My next empties was this Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. I like to call it the Mario Badescu rose water spray. And it is my... Uh, one of my favorite sprays. I don't know for sure if Mario Badescu is cruelty free or vegan. I want to say they are not cruelty free. Um, and in that case, I won't be repurchasing. But if I find out that they are cruelty free, then I definitely will be repurchasing because this was a great product. Great for just refreshing your face throughout the day. I would bring it to work with me all the time. And um, it's also good for setting your makeup or using it on um, shimmery eyeshadows to make them even more shimmery. Next empties I have is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, my favorite mascara in the entire world. And I don't think that'll ever change, to be completely honest with you. The brush on it is just absolutely fantastic. It's like smaller in the middle and gets wider on the edges and it just volumizes and lengthens to perfection, to absolute perfection. And as you guys know, I have very, very long lashes in general, like naturally, and this just makes them even longer. And my favorite part is the volume because that is why I wear false lashes, like on very special occasions. I literally never wear false lashes, but when I do, it's always just for the volume, not for the length. So I always get very voluptuous like lashes but yeah this makes your lashes look like fake lashes and it's awesome next product I went through was the soothing touch grapefruit lip balm which I was obsessed with absolutely obsessed with it I um I found it at Whole Foods actually and I've only ever seen it there once, which was the time that I bought it, of course. And I can't find it anywhere. And it's a big lip balm. And yeah, can't find it anywhere. Um, probably going to have to buy it online because I am running out of chapstick. And it's very hard to find a vegan chapstick nowadays. 
So yeah, um, if you're looking for a good cruelty-free vegan chopstick slash lip balm, definitely go with the brand Soothing Touch. It has vitamin C in it, it's all natural, and it's, it's just, it works wonders. I went through this uh, chapstick from Mass General Hospital in Boston because I'm really classy like that, but uh, yeah, went through it and then it did its job. Don't know anything about it, but yeah. I went through two, um, two Kat Von D tattoo liners and like all of you know by now, it is my favorite cruelty-free and vegan eyeliner. It is jet black. Absolute jet black. And um, it's hard to find a vegan eyeliner that is jet black, I've learned. So um, if you are looking for a eyeliner and you want to use natural products from now on, like I do, um, definitely go with Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper. Um, it is a felt tip liner, so it looks like this. Felt tip, like that. Very thin, so it's perfect to get the perfect wing. Uh, yeah, so highly, highly recommend. I went through this Wet n Wild Mattifying Powder. I hit pan on it. Um, I, it was a pretty good powder, like it's drugstore, it's very, very cheap, but I will never repurchase this because ever since I discovered the RCMA No Color Powder, um, which is I think like $10, I will never go back to anything else. The RCMA No Color Powder just blurs any imperfections on your skin, it's unreal, um, but if you don't want to buy online for RCMA, then go with the Wet n Wild Mattifying Powder because it was, it was a good powder. It's just not as good as our CMA, so take your pick. I also went through the Marc Jacobs Highliner um, pencils. It's a little sample I got, but it literally lasted me like two months. And um, it was a great, great eyeliner, like insanely good, it, but it's not cruelty-free or vegan so I will not be repurchasing. It was just one of those products that I had that I wanted to use up. So, yes. Um, but I will say, this is one of the best waterline eyeliners I've ever used, sadly. I also went through, it. the other end broke off, but it is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown. And this was my ride or die product um, ever. Like, Ride or Die brow products for life. Um, I used the brow definer today because um, I actually was forced to pick up the brow definer because they were out of my shade in the Brow Wiz. So I am using the brow definer till it's done and then I plan on repurchasing the Brow Wiz because for me, the Brow Wiz is just so natural um, and the brow definer is a little bit too much for me. Like, I, I can't get in specific spots with the brow definer like I can with the Brow Wiz. So, that being said, um, I will be repurchasing the Brow Wiz as soon as it comes back in stock at my local Macy's. That was the last makeup product I had to show. The last product in general that I have to show you guys is the People's Green Tea. I think I've had this in a um, empties video in the past, but it comes with uh, 50 natural tea bags. And for all of you that know, I am obsessed, hit pan on it, I'm obsessed with green tea. And this is just the best green tea I've ever had in my entire life. And I can say that with like complete and total confidence. And it's just the best, most earthiest green tea ever. And I just love earthy green teas. So if you're like me, I would totally check this out. I got this at Whole Foods. Um, I think you can get it at Wegmans. I'm not really sure where else you can get it, but you can totally look it up online and find out. I just keep like everything in this little Sephora box. So that's where I keep my little empties. So yeah. Well guys, that completes this video and I'm so excited that I'm finally getting this up on my channel. Like any video up on my channel because it's been way too long away from you guys. I just have so much fun filming these videos, posting them of course. I love getting all these out for you. Um, 
and I just wanted you to know that I appreciate you guys so, so much. You guys have gotten me to over 700 subscribers in the past couple months, and I just, <laughs> it's so overwhelming in the best way, and um, I'm just incredibly grateful for you all, and I just want you all to know that um, I can't believe how far my channel has come in just the past couple months. Um, as of right now, I, I got 50,000 views on one of my recent videos, and to me that is just mind-blowing. I made that video only expecting to get maybe 100 views on that video, so it's just absolutely crazy, and I... A couple months ago, I only had like 20 subscribers, and now I'm at over 700. It's just absolutely crazy. So my next upcoming goal is to get my subscribers up to a thousand. And I know that you guys will do this, and we can do this. And I'm gonna work extra hard on my channel coming up. There's been so many things behind the scene that I've been working on, collabs and things on the side that I've been working on that I don't want to talk about yet, but um, just bear with me when I am not posting videos. I did not abandon my channel. I am working towards my future of my channel, so just keep that in mind, and I want you guys to know that I appreciate you and I love you so, so much. I hope that you guys enjoy your summer, that you're enjoying your summer so far, if that's what time of year it is for you. And yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will not buy any perfume that is not natural. Um, I will not buy any perfume, um, any fragrance, sorry. I, Jesus Christ. It's nourishing fragrance free cleansing. Cleansing, sorry. Animal deri uh, derivative. Der I'm just, I just can't. <laughs>